Welcome to your Tone with Weights series. This class is all about the legs. We begin with a nice warm up. Then we'll start to move into some weighted work. I have got a set of 10 pound weights, 15 and 20. If you're new to using weights, start with light weights. The whole goal of this is to progressively overload you so that over time as you repeat this video, you can actually lift just a little bit heavier each time. If you don't have many options at home, just enjoy whatever you have, and you could actually even do these videos without any weights and still notice a difference in the tone and musculature of your legs. So let's get started. You'll also notice that I've got a little chair step up thing here. So something um, that you can use to step up upon. So if you have a chair at home, um, that would be a perfect height as well, or a bench. Okay, let's get started on our side. So go ahead and lay yourselves down. Um, if you have a yoga mat or an exercise mat, you're welcome to use that. Go ahead and place your head beneath, your hand beneath your head. Tense your front fingertips in front of you and send your legs evenly out on a 45. Inhale, lift the upper leg, point the toes, and exhale, flex the foot to lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. 10 rounds, eight more to go. Notice that when you're pointing the toes, you're pushing the foot away from you. And when you're flexing the foot to lower, you're moving slow and steady, as if you're moving through thick air, letting that resistance helping, help you to build more strength. If you have an ankle weight at home, you're welcome to add that, or a running shoe would add that extra one pound to your foot. So again, there's many, many options in this video series, different ways to increase whew, the work, although this is a lot for me already. <laughs> One more. The next time you lower, this front foot steps in front of you. You can hold it, and then we lift the lower leg up and down, up and down, toning inner thigh or the adductor group. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to the first exercise. So for each of our exercises today, point, flex. We have three sets and we do ten reps of each. So it's kind of like doing 30 rounds, but we're just breaking it up a little bit. Last three, two, and one. Step in front, inner thigh lift and lower, lift and lower, lift. That's four, last three, two, and one final set, take the upper leg, flex to release. Start to notice your breath. Remember, you're following the video. So there's not much else you need to focus on. It's your last one. Breathe deep, step in front. Last 10 of these. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Press to rise up, switch sides. Send your legs in front, upper hand supports you. And then we go and we lift. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step in front, inner thigh lift. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Single leg lift. Go one, two, three. Notice if there's any rocking at the pelvis or at the torso. Go five. And try to keep your core engaged. Seven. Pulling belly back to spine. Nine. Ten. Step in front. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Final set. In this together. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step in front, ten lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Nice work. That's our first set of exercises. Hopefully you're feeling warm. We'll move into our weighted sequence next. So as I mentioned, we are using this little stool. So something that comes roughly around the knee or just under the knee, okay? I'm going to use um, 15 pound weights to start and you guys could use whatever you're comfortable with. And you'll step about a foot distance in front of your support. Take your right leg and place the top of the foot onto the support, okay? And you'll see maybe a foot and a half forward will be better. As we get ready for a Bulgarian split squat, we're not leaning forward here, but we're kind of thinking of squatting down. So the weights are just in front of you. Slowly go ahead and bend down and then push into the left leg to rise. That's one, and that's two. So just play with that for a moment and notice how much energy you can put into your front leg. So the back leg is kind of just there for balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. These get me every time. Switch legs. Rush the top of the left foot to that support. Stand tall. And then exhale, dip it down and up. Two, three, four, Five, six, one side is much harder to balance on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So now in between, take a couple breaths. Place your hands to your ribs. Inhale, expand ribs out. Exhale, TVA breath. Breathe it out. Feel your ribs knit together, turning on your transverse. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale, feel the ribs knitting together. Good job. Remember where your feet were. If you feel like you need a little bit more space, you can play with that. So just check out my alignment for a moment. I don't want you guys bending forward like this, right? 
So I actually want you lowering down, a little scoop to the pelvis as you sink. So the front knee isn't going too far beyond the heel, but can kind of go towards the center of that foot. You should still be able to see all five toes. And if you get tired, your left hand and weight can rest to that thigh. Eight, nine, and ten. Plant the foot, left foot to the support. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, drop the weights, hands to ribs, let out your breath. Last set, find your weight, find your stance with right leg splits back, inhale, stand tall, prepare, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it should be really hard for the last two reps. That means that we're doing a really good job. Switch. Go one. Two. Maybe that right weight lands on the thigh. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Woo. Slowly release your weights. Just breathe a few natural breaths. Now we'll be flipping to face whatever it was you were stepping up on. Grab your weights, and now we're going to load the standing leg. So everybody, stand close to your step. Left foot steps up top. Make sure it's right in the middle so you're secure. And then load the leg by tipping slightly forward and stand slowly up. Exhale to drop. Inhale. This is two. So you can take any height of step. Maybe you're on a little kitchen step stool. And as you progress with this video, you can play with stepping up a little bit higher. Really mindful to load the front leg so there's no lateral movement at the knee. Last one, switch. Other leg up, take a deep breath. Tip forward slightly, get ready to load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Pause. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause. If you need longer, just pause the video. Last set. Left side, forward, for two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Right leg forward. Final ten. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Weights down. Pause. And now a TVA breath might be really hard if you're breathing heavy like me. So just try to let your heart rate come down. Standing in mountain pose. Infusing our yoga into the workout by connecting the mind to the body. How does it feel? Could be shaky, hot, out of breath. And where do you feel that? Our fourth and final movement today. Grab your weights. So this movement is a little more yogic. So you'll stand here, slowly draw the right knee to the chest. Now as you do this, you'll notice You'll need to ground into the left leg, connect to the core by pulling belly back to spine, and then slowly zip the right thigh towards the right side of the waistline, point the toes. Inhale, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, exhale to a lunge. Drop the back knee, inhale. Exhale, back to lunge, and then everybody look forward, stand tall. That's one. Two. Don't worry, there's only 10 of these since you're doing three movements in each. So that's going to make your 30. You're halfway through on the right side. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, final one on the right side, slow it down, oh. 
I need to take a break between sides. <sighs> Just absolutely feeling this. So notice where you're feeling it. Big breath. We can't break for too long or we might not go back to it. <laughs> Last set of 10 on the left leg. Remember, there's three movements. So you're really doing 30 here. So one, lift, left leg up. One, warrior three, left leg back. One, lunge, drop knee, lift and step, pause. Two, three, four, five, Eight. Nine. Last one. We've made it to ten. Oh my God. Lower. Pause. If you zoom in, you will see I am drenched head to toe. Tadasana, wide legs. You'll pull your feet out even more so that your fingertips kind of line up over the outer edges of the feet and then place hands to hips. Inhale, get long. Exhale, hinge. Pop your elbows up to the sky. Find that anterior lift of the sitting bones and then fold. Release your arms, lengthen. Draw the heels in, little bend into the knees, double warrior two or goddess position. Hands find the inner ankles, elbows abduct the inner knees. Ground the hands, lift the hips, parallel the feet. Hands to hips, root to rise. Heel, toe, or hop. Legs together. Find something to hold on to for your balance. Figure four, cross the right leg, sit down. Stand. Switch. Cross that left leg. Sit down. Switch. Hold your balance. Catch the right foot. Press the knee back. Switch. Catch the left foot. Press the knee back. Switch, come to center, sweep the arms up, inhale, hands to heart, exhale. Thank yourself for showing up. I'd like to thank you as well. From my heart to yours, namaste.